right let me open the excel sheet team i'll copy one by one okay so how to validate an email address using cobol okay uh depends on uh, i'll try to give my answer here team after that i will take two answers how to validate an email address using cobol so as you, we can use if the in what context this question is there i am not sure okay uh, anyone is here who have posted this question if you posted this question if you say yes then i can get more clarity in this question so okay i am considering as no one is here right so how to validate an email address using cobol team so just let's say mm you go on mute everyone yo no app open ji rash security go on mute rash security go on mute yeah right so team if your question is okay this is my mail id i will take my mail id only request at the rate at the rate gmail.com so if you want to test the mail id as it is we can get the variable name equal to this mail id i don't think that is the question okay so based on this okay, actually this question doesn't have proper clarity okay so we can we might be getting the data from file or database from once you get the address or the email id from the file and all we can validate like this so actually this is a mail id or not okay so what you can do in this particular mail id whether it is a mail id or something text so usually if it is a mail id either it should be there okay dot com should be there or dot co will be there dot in will be there so we can use something called inspect using inspect we can check whether it is there or not dot co dot com dot in dot aus ain these things are there then we can consider as a mail id is valid or not example here this question might be coming from <clears throat> when you are filling the online application once you enter the only mftrng request you might get an error you have to enter the valid mail id right so maybe what data you are entering so it is going to check at the rate is there or not okay then dot com dot in dot o dot co so it depends on right okay gmail.com uh dot in government websites will be there long dot in okay so dot co will be there right so it depends on that okay so we will be checking this too if these two things are there and if it is starting with the character or not as per the organization rules after three four validation we can say the mail id is correct or incorrect yes i am opening for one response here anyone uh, anyone uh, raise a flag if i say wrong answer okay i am I'll, i'm always ready to accept if i'm wrong okay anyone wants to say any other answer apart from this answering with at Yeah, we can unstring and we can validate it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any one more, one more answer. So we can unstring after it. It's a delay to call it that. And dot com. So after that, these are all there. Well and good. If it is not there, then we can do a different way. <clears throat> so I'm getting into one other another question. As in gone mute. Asin, go on mute, please. Yeah. How to reverse words in sentence? Yeah. Anyone wants to take this question? Like, okay. Main frame. This IBM product. This is the example. Now they have to reverse the word. Yes. so product should go up 
product should be answer they are expecting product should come first product should come first ivm next piece then main thread Yeah, like first we can go for run string and we can do the string in reverse order. But if we know like exact number of uh, like uh, words only, this will be possible. But if you are not aware of the number of words, then that is like again different approach. Okay, very good. I agree. Uh, you are giving the right answer only. Next, uh, Jitu, you want to elaborate a little bit more? It is going to see uh, if you give the reverse what happens uh, jitu your answer one our colleague uh, you know given the answer inspect reverse so what happens here if you give the reverse right if you give the reverse e m a r r f n i a f this is going to it is going to reverse the character hence this is not the right approach he asking how to reverse words only, not sentence, when not characters. So main frame should come first. Okay, if the, they are expecting even characters also should be in reverse order in the word, in the string, yes, your answer is correct. Any other answer? Yeah, by using reference modification. By using reference modification, you cannot do that. Okay, uh, if you do reference modification, how you do it? That is also possible. Na? Basically, you need to, you have to separate, right? Yeah, actually, Venkat, actually, I got this uh, question only. So, exactly, I explained like constraint string as the option, but like what is intention is when we are not aware of the word, when we are not aware of the length of the string, how we can do that? What are all the options available? Like that is expected actually when we are not aware of the length of the like sentence and the number of words. Count so number of spaces that? plus one will be number of words. Yes, that is also correct. We can use string delimited by uh, so that uh, it, it will. Uh, uh, it will uh, when it encounter the last character, so it will deal with that uh, particular string, and it shows this is the word. No, no, no. Can you please elaborate a bit more? So, see, string one string is answered, but how you do it? The question is how you do it. Okay. You convince me first, then I'll I'll try to create right here. So, guys. See, his answer is okay. Four da okay. Delimited all okay. See, we have to work around string and string. If you go with the uh, Venkat. yeah. Hello, hello, Venkat. Uh, I have uh, like, uh, we can do, achieve this by doing the unstring. Unstring this variable in uh, delimited by space into uh different variables once the above query got executed we can uh add all those into some other variable but, okay answer you're doing answering right you have to store yes. the result in the variable <clears throat> yes all right we can use array yeah that, that we should come to that as well as okay See, if you do only unstring, what happens? Uh, main frame is going to store in one variable, e is going to store in another variable, <clears throat> IBM is going to another variable, product is going to store another variable. Okay, so basically, uh, it is going to store in here, but our Mayesh question is, he don't know, okay, so he don't know how many strings in how many words in the input variable so ibm main frame is ibm product and and it is okay key technology in banking sector so now this is the output and this is the input data also
anyone anyone final answer here we need to work around uh, mahesh are you explored something in google this one mahesh yeah see means i tried the thing thing is actually using inspect only so inspect using inspect first we need to get the number of the like uh, spaces right. so uh, we have to declare this uh, occurs class depending upon that particular counter let's say if we get 50 spaces the uh, in uh, occurrence will be like uh, according to that particular like uh, spaces so then we have to find for that each space and we have to move this uh, using the reference modification we have to move these characters to particular occurrence of that uh, particular variable so yeah, like that we can split so that is the like i think of the best option i like i didn't get the like full solution but i have worked out uh, have worked on that particular uh, what uh, approach and it was like expected output only i got okay so everyone you got it i'll reiterate what is said okay so first we have to find how many spaces in i guess they also answer the same okay we have to find how many spaces are there okay plus one so nothing but so we have to we have to declare an occurs class to store all these words okay next we have to write a loop okay we have to write a loop with the ins, uh, reference modification okay using reference modification under the loop combination we can process we can split it correct mesh yeah yeah when cut that's correct yeah so if you have any code snippet and all if possible in the next 45 minutes okay so i guess you can go to ping here chat window okay